Hello, everyone. Let's make sure this doesn't fuck up my ratios. Okay, we're good. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep eating this pizza. And, um, hmm. Actually, hold on. Need to pause the stream. And pull your back. So we're going to load one of the older quests, and we're going to do the Institute ending this time. So we need to do the Institute quest, which was 3 days, 21 hours, 36 minutes. This one right here. Hi, Gamma. I heard a pizza last night. I'm having my third slice of it now. Shut up, I was hungry. <laughs> oh, damn it. I missed two cups when I did dishes earlier. Okay, so... Basically, what happened here is we did this one instead of this one. And that was our split. So if you haven't seen up until this point, go watch the last episode. And you will get to see the ending for the, um... Father has done remarkable things. You get to see the ending for, um... For Railroad. The episode prior to that was the one for the Brotherhood. So now we're doing the Institute, and last we'll do, um... We're making real progress, thanks to you. Last, I'll try to do the, um... Minutemen. That's the plan right now. Then once we finish the Minutemen ending, we'll be done with the game. And we never have to come back unless it turns out that the DLC is actually good. And if the DLC is actually good, then... Maybe we'll come back. But right now, I intend to do these last couple of endings and ah, there you are. be done with it. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions. Oh, known. hold on. Apparently, there's an option in the settings. Ah, there is an option to turn off the dialogue camera. I don't care. We're, we've gone this far with it. I don't it care. It was difficult for them to reach <clears throat> the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. And yet, as a leader, you must make those hard choices. You know, Mother. It's no secret that you worked with the railroad in order to first reach the institute. I mean, the depth of your brotherhood with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. Mm -hmm. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? Does it even matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. For the institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure. The railroad must be eliminated completely as our primary above ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad. You are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at simply is this. Are you willing to destroy them? There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively, and we must act now. Will you do it? Is this really necessary? I'm afraid it is. You're not afraid. No pleasure in it, but it must be done <sighs> for the sake of everyone in the Institute. And it must be done now. Are you willing? I can take care of them. Good. I don't enjoy asking you to put yourself in harm's way, but this is so important. Oh. 
Every part of these endings makes me feel terrible. Why am I killing these people? I was friends with them. If I had known about the display thing at the very beginning of the playthrough, I would have done it, but all things considered, it's the end, and we've made it this far with it, so I might as well finish. Alright, I want to see something real quick. I want to know if I can talk to her about it. Randall Shut up, Jungle Boy. Desdemona, something on your mind? You don't look so good. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? You're alive. So what do you think? I think you didn't answer the question. Things have progressed faster than we expected. You need to stall them. Buy time any way you can. And step up your operation with Patriot. That's all we can do. Good luck. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth. He used to be a scabber. I'm sorry, Desdemona. You are a bitch, but this isn't what should happen to you. Trust me, I thought you were a bitch, but that's not how I wanted it to end. At all. Stop moving. is in my lap now. She got comfortable. Doctor? Don't make me kill you. Sorry, Pam. Everyone in this game is a tumblerina, either with me or against me. Yep, that's part of the problem. There's no nuance to it, there's no subtlety. Your options are kill and or kill and or kill. And I hate that. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Don't be a bitch, Allie. All right. So let's see where this takes us. The work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult. I know. There needed to be a yes man option. You're confident the railroad is finished? As confident as we can be. It was always a loose network. But with the key players gone, it's not impossible that they'll be back someday. But it will take them time. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. 
They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. They're well fortified. Attacking them would be risky. It's necessary. That's all that matters. Wow, you got the angry fast. The Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out in the world, Mother. And they too will come for us. Why would they come for you? You're, you have worse technology than a think tank. You are short-sighted. You can't even power your own base. Your, your greatest creation so far is a bunch of people that aren't even people and think they're slaves. And the things that you could have done that were great, like create a cure for being a super mutant, or, you know, create, like, cybernetics that in increase the longevity of human beings rather than making fake people, you cancel or just blow up. And, honestly, you only can get things done by kidnapping innocent people. Fuck you. You have something in mind if that happens? I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they Calm down, cannot Shale. ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So, we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Watson should be in the lab. He will explain the details to you. Time is of the essence. So wait, how come uh, Rocket's Red Glare had a... had a uh, achievement, but this one doesn't? It's the same quest. Yeah, and super crops. They could easily help, like, they could help people if they weren't such dicks about it. But they're isolated dicks about it. Uh oh. He used up a whole fusion core. I'm glad, on the bright side, I am glad I had that crit stored up so I could take Glory out, because she's such a pain in the ass. Sucks that she dies no matter what, though. Surplus power should translate to increased efficiency and productivity. Dr. Watson? Did you need something? Any special projects going on that I should know about? Are you referring to something in particular? Has something happened? Sean says it's time. Oh, well, I guess it's been coming. I suppose we should get moving. Let's go, Rosalind. Sean says it's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. I know, I know, but we need to move quickly on this. Want to fill me in on what's happening? Dr. Orman has done most of the hands-on work, so I'll let her explain the basics to you. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. What sort of EM field? What's it doing? Basically, just scattering any suitable complex signals, like the ones from our relay, preventing us from getting close. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. Am I going to know these generators when I see them? You should, yeah. They're just blanketing the whole spectrum, so there should be quite a light show. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. Mm. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And, oh, I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. 
If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Oh, great. The day is won. I can see it now. We'll see what you think when you're neck deep in Brotherhood soldiers. Mm -hmm. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? I helped build it. What's Liberty Prime? Evan can give you the rundown. <coughs> sure. Liberty Prime was a pre-war experiment by the military. The Brotherhood found it when they moved to the Capital Wasteland. They never could get it up and running. So um. they got help from Dr. Lee. What did she do? Designed the power system for it. Small, but powerful enough to get the thing moving and shooting and apparently throwing bombs. It does now, do that. Dr. Lee Spikes them like footballs. Everything on Liberty Prime. I mean everything. While we don't have it all written down, we've got enough. We know what it can do, and we know how to take advantage of that. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past ten years, and this part was my idea. Uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth. Capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. Just the turn Liberty it off. Going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. I mean, make sure he doesn't get shot. You know, they don't have a power core for it in this version because we did it. With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you've got any questions, this is where you ought to ask. If not, they're probably ready for you upstairs in the relay room. Have we got a plan B? Seriously? No, this is it. Don't worry. It's going to work. If you've got any questions, this is where you ought to ask. If not, they're probably ready for you upstairs in the relay room. What have I got for backup? With our reactor online, once the field is down, we can throw everything we've got at them. And believe me, we I will. might as well finish if these. If you've got any questions, this is where you What happens to Liberty Prime after this? He'll have several hundred tons of airship crashing down on top of him. That's about it. If you've got any questions, no questions. Let's do this. All right, good luck. I'll send word that you're on your way up. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. <laughs> you mean the Dr. Lee that defected when she found out that you were abusing we'll need to the... Update our safety procedures for the anyway. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. She's not there. She's at the bar getting drunk. Wait. I was dead ale wise. Never mind. Totally the wrong thing. This entire elevator makes no sense. It's only there for the cinematic experience. Not. Yeah, kind of. You know what this whole thing is? It's Dr. Horrible's sing along blog. That's what this is. If you've ever seen that, you know exactly what I mean. And if you haven't seen it, you should, because it's amazing. Oh, hey, we're in a shack.
bunch of frag mines everywhere. Good thing I don't have to worry about setting those off. into negative credibility as the RPG when it forces us into a railroads rail shooter sequence. But yeah, if you've ever seen Dr. Horrible sing a long vlog, you know what I mean about the endings. taking them down. How many of you assholes are there? This is really annoying, this whole frag mine business. How many assholes are there? <clears throat> I mean, I get it, there's a lot. Come on. Sorry, I just felt like they were respawning indefinitely. Like, you know I'm in X01, right? Oh, come on.
Alright, so where are these generators I'm supposed to be turning off? Oh, they must be upstairs. <clears throat> they noped out real quick, didn't they? Not that I blame them, but... Oh, okay. That's what they look like. Do I have to, like, I can't just... Oh. I wonder if I can just pip it with the, um... Thing. Where's that coming from? <clears throat> oh, that's where it was coming from. Almost as though it was scripted. Yeah, seems that way. quite sure if this is where I'm supposed to go, but this is where I'm gonna go, in hopes that it's where I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> Looks like it. Okay. So that was where I was supposed to go. Alright, so now we just have to go about to Liberty Prime, which shouldn't be that difficult. When did that get there? Hell, even our arms are still un like they're not completely damaged. And we've been taking quite a beating. Really? Really? <clears throat> Where are these spotlights coming from? Engaging hostile flight form. Oh, damn it, I did it again. There we go. Eh, not perfect, but better. Wow, that looks like so incredibly painted. We go up. Wonder where Dr. Lee is. Damn it, I do that every time. I don't know why.
Sorry, Ingram. What's up with that? Where is that vertebrae? I can't see shit. Maxon. Destroy all communists. Time to go. To a safe location. Sorry. What's the big gun? This is a gauze rifle. It's the unique one you can buy from Ronnie Shaw at the castle. But it is um It's uh, a gauze rifle. Excuse me. They send the gorillas, apparently. That's. It's kind of dumb. Also, way to make the interesting. Like, we didn't even get to see any of it because it was a loading screen. Like, that's really bad gameplay to, to shake up. I mean, it's just bad design to go from action, 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 cut, loading, 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 and Yeah, it's a gauze rifle. And you can hold down the button to charge it up. Ah, this is the last quest. This is the last one. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, kitten. I spooked my kitten by burping. <laughs> Sounds like those raiders of Libertalia were quite a handful. Sounds like your flavor text is outdated and needs to be updated because I just took out the Brotherhood of Steel and you didn't even comment on it. All right, let's go uh, talk to Father. I guess you know what? Work, bringing that rogue synth back. I guess I don't need this anymore. Nice job bringing that rogue synth back. Not nice job. Destroying our enemies. To see all that Father has done. Like, come on, game. 
I'm too lazy to move the mouse. Hello, Sean. Ah. Uh, there you are. I've already heard the news. But of course, you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. At one hell of a cost. They left us no choice. Remember that. There will always be difficult decisions to make. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. There's got to be something more we can do for you. That's no, not what I've said. No, this is what I want. It's all right. I figured that was something about the about Institute, me. not him. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been strange, hasn't it? You mean like when you let me out of my cryogenic stasis for a fucking social experiment? Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that I'm grateful for the time we've had. I don't know what to say. Shh. It's all right. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams, I think. I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home, ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again, the way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Well, that's the Institute ending. Nuclear family. Complete. And an achievement for it. I'm not doing the whole play walk thing. And now we're in charge. But what are we in charge of? So we walk to our gilded throne and sit with the knowledge that it's all ours. But the question is, was it really worth it? <laughs>